I reckon if I had a bit heavier of a weight on, I might be able to get it out where that sand is, where I reckon there might be some, some fish. Just, just any fish would be alright. See if I fight would satisfy me. Even the tiniest little nibble. It's a bit hard to wind in slower, especially when your bait sort of rides the waves back home. So. It's all good, but we overcome. We we conquer these problems. I don't know how. We'll, we'll, we'll think something. We got this. I might try back over at that point. That was also very cool. And I'm going to do a short little walk go over there. That was a bit close to me falling over on my face. I have been fishing at that one spot for about almost, that's like 50 minutes, so we're going to switch it up, I don't think there's anything there, probably should have stayed too long on that, but you know, it's all good, don't worry about it, I want to get to that big rock out there, but I don't know how high the tide's going to come in, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it across without hitting the flying squirrel. Spread my arms and legs trying to get across. So, welcome back to Brody's rock climbing videos. I'm just kidding. This is meant to be a fishing video, but we haven't caught too many fish, which is a bit of a shame. But anyway. Alright, and let's go. Now I'm just quite disappointed. There are some other fish in here, here as well. They're straight on the corner. I don't know if they're having too much luck. I will ask them. Have a good old yonder. 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 Soft plastics don't just work. We caught um, a couple of brim a couple of days ago down the river. Uh, it worked pretty well. Lost two red eyes, but uh, that's fine. If you want to know what rod I'm using, I'm using a 2500 Sidewinder uh, Sahara with its uh, Shimano Sahara rod, that's a mouthful. Uh, I'm using, I don't know how much uh, 
what way to braid on anything. But I've got mono on the bottom of this, and then it goes to braid, and then back to mono again right here. This little fancy knot. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, so this was on sale at BCA. It was like a secret sale. And I picked it up. It was like 70. Uh, no, I forgot how much it was. But it was so much cheaper. And these are like my favorite ones. I'm super confused actually because the sandbar that sits at the mouth of the of the river here is usually like massive swells because it's all in the shallows, there's big waves, but there's like none. There's only waves around the neck. What the heck and heck is this? Sorry, I should say swells, not waves. A couple of oysters below me as well. Good thing I'm wearing my special rock thongs. I mean, shoes. Oh, yeah. Finally got in some nice deep water. I don't know if it's just me, but I think the water's getting, getting a bit clearer. It's pretty weird. I don't know if the tide is going in. Yeah. It's like pretty... It's not too early in the morning. It's like almost 7 o'clock. Started fishing at like five. That was cold. Not five. Started fishing at six. And an hour later. <laughs> 